Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. With solar power systems, they're producing all their power during the day. And most people don't actually use all the power that is being produced by their system straight in their property during the day when it's actually been produced by the solar. So what we recommend you try and do is, you to, uh, is turn on loads during the day so they're utilizing the free power from the sun rather than you having to buy power back at night time from the grid. So one way we do this is by installing a timer such as this one on your hot water system. And with the hot water systems, they're quite a large load. And so they're a perfect thing to have come on, say at 9 a.m. in the morning, turn off at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And so during the middle of the day when the sun's been out, it's been, that, that power has been going into the hot water system. What we often do is replace a 3.6 kilowatt element, which is a standard element in a hot water system with a 1.8 kilowatt element. A 1.8 kilowatt element is half the size of the 3.6 and it will still heat up the hot water exactly the same. It will just take twice as long to do so. And when we're running a, the, the hot water system for like eight hours or so during the day, that's plenty of time for the 1.8 kilowatt element to do its work. So what we'll do now is just have a close look at these timers and how to set them up. So here we have an Eaton timer you, and we've got a little plastic cover over here that just clips up like so and you can see it says Eaton up the top here. Now there's a few things about this timer. First off we have this little switch, it's a three position switch down the bottom and it's got off down the bottom then above that a picture of a clock. So that when, it, when it's in the clock position it means it's controlled by the timer and then we have an off position. So. In the off position, the load which is controlled by the timer is always going to be off. In the clock position, it's controlled by the timer. In the on position, the timer is bypassed and the load is always on. So you had this timer set up for your hot water system and you had people over and you use more hot water than normal because you had more showers going on and you just wanted to give it an extra boost, you could just bring it down to the on position boost it for a few hours then once the visitors are gone you can put it back onto the timer position. Now we've got this little uh, divot which sticks out here. Now that is the current time of the system. The timer is actually set to at the moment. So you see 10, 11, 12 so it's on 12 at the moment. So it's actually set on midday at the moment. So we've got this arrow here which shows that we can adjust the timer by scrolling up like so and so you can see 1600 so it's a 24 hour timer here and that would be so 4 p.m. and in this case you can see that these divots here are to the right and as per this little diagram here when they're over to the right they're on when they're over to the left as it is past 1600 it's off and you can easily adjust these by just uh, grabbing them with your edge of your finger finger, or with a small screwdriver or a pen or something like that and just adjust them over as required. So what you want to do is work out what time that you want to run your hot water system for or, or whatever the load is that you might be wanting to control with the timer and say in this case we want our hot water system coming on at 8 a.m. in the morning and off again at 4 p.m. So we want to just change these over here it's, at four o'clock we want the system to turn off and we just scroll through okay so it's off all night long you can see 24 there so that's midnight and then we're on again at 8 a.m. and so that's all set up we just the only thing we still need to set up is the current time so it's midday right now so we're just going to change the time to 12 And so you can see there that little divot is pointing to right about 12. So that's the current time. Now one important thing to make note of as well is if there's a, a blackout or a power failure, your timer could potentially lose time. So it's, it's a, a little tiny motor in here turning the timer. 
and so if the grid goes down you could potentially lose the correct time on the timer so if you do have a, a blackout or a grid failure it's a good idea to just check your timer make sure it's still set on the right time and just adjust it to the correct time again if it needs it needs adjusting but just by just scrolling the wheel up so that's the Eaton 24 hour timer there thanks for watching this video i hope it's been helpful for you